let's go. In June of 2019, with nothing but five pairs of clothes and a lot of courage, I left all I had known behind and went to Europe on a two-month solo backpacking trip. From the stunning views to the amazing people, from the highs to the lows and everything in between, this was my life-changing summer. I'm in Croatia and I'm trying to figure out where the bus is. He said it's the main road, so I don't know. But I walked out and it already looks beautiful, so that's a good sign. <laughs> that bus ride was rough. I was standing the whole time. It was so hot, it was like 40 minutes. Now I have a 10 minute walk to the hostel. I'm so exhausted today, so I'm looking forward to just getting there, getting some dinner. I don't know what to think of Croatia yet. I haven't really seen anything yet. I'm just kind of walking like in the city, I guess. I'm in my hostel in Split. Everyone say hi. 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 <laughs> We're having free pizza. Croatia is so cheap. I went to the grocery store with a bunch of people here. By the way, this is the nicest hostel ever. It's rated the best hostel in Croatia, and I understand why. It's so homey and friendly, and everyone's like a big family. I already love it here. But I bought three nectarines, two apples, a loaf of bread, lettuce, cucumber, um, a bag of oats for oatmeal, cheese, and two bags of pretzels, and it was $8.70. <laughs> Literally so cheap, like, that's amazing. We are headed to the waterfall, what? Vlogging! <laughs> Vlogging! We're at the waterfalls and it's beautiful. We went swimming. We're gonna do a little hike thing. And I definitely feel like I'm in Croatia now. I didn't really before, but now I do. Explain the vlog worthy moment. Yeah, so we are trying to figure out how, what this shape is. It's clearly a fucking trapezoid. It's I don't know what these people What is it? What is that? It's a trapezoid. Okay, that's the English it's way. The and then what, what, what did you say it was? Trapezium. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. It's a trapezium. It's a trapezium. 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 Good morning. It is actually kind of like noon. We all had a late start to our days. I am headed to meet up with some people from the hostel and go to Old Town and then we're going to the beach. They're going kayaking for the sunset. I'm gonna do that in Dubrovnik. I didn't really want to spend the money now so I think tonight I'm gonna go to a viewpoint with some other people to watch the sunset and then I'd like to watch, I've been watching the Hunger Games. I watched the first one with Kira in her apartment in London, the second one last night, and I think I'd like to watch the third one. Um, I'm honestly, I'm not having the time in Split so far that I thought. I've only had one full day, and I, uh, last night and this morning, was really considering hopping on a plane and leaving Croatia. Honestly, that sounds extreme, but I don't know. Um, I think I've just been used to, and you guys will have known if you've been watching my vlog, every single time I've gotten to a place, I've been instantly best friends with someone for like days, and like Ross I met back up with, Davida I'm meeting back up with, um, Hannah I would like to travel with when we, in, later in the year, and so it's just kind of, this time I haven't really bonded with anyone like that, um, as opposed to other places where I have. I still really like the people here, but, um, but it's okay because I'm leaving tomorrow morning and I do want to explore today so I'm just like I have a different mindset now I'm feeling better but um, yeah that's what's happening
Then my memory is full. Apparently, where they filmed some Game of Thrones. Like, I've never seen that show, so I don't really care. But uh, it's cool. It was only a few dollars to get in, student discount. And I'm glad I'm here. I just went to the bell tower which was super cool and walked through the old city I got really lost I was supposed to go to a sunset viewing point with people today at the hostel but I have not gotten to explore old city yet and I feel like that's the part of split that has culture that I would like so I think instead of going to the sunset or it's supposed to leave in like 45 minutes I'm not even back haven't showered eaten I think I'm gonna tell them because it's a couple that I was gonna go with super nice I'm gonna tell them to go and I'm just gonna explore by myself and I think that would be good for me. So I think that's the plan as of right now. And I really want to watch the third Hunger Games. So maybe I can squeeze that in as well. It is 9.45. I watched a bit of the third Hunger Games. I've been marathoning it a little bit. Um, and I didn't finish it because it's like super long, but I'm going to uh, Old Town. Usually I wouldn't go out by myself at night, but there's so many people here. I know the area and I might meet up with the people from my hostel. And yeah, I'm excited. This bag of lavender was being sold for five kuno, which is like 80 cents. So I bought it because I love lavender. Just to smell at night before bed. Summer, come on, twist again, like we do last year. said bye to everyone in the hostel which was sad because everyone was nice we all got along and now I'm going to the port and I'm going to the island of Havar I kind of feel like I didn't do split right like I did a day trip the first day and right to the beach the second day and I probably should have walked there or just gotten more of a feel because it is so beautiful but I think what I was doing made me not enjoy it as much as what I'm doing right now which is just like walking on the water but I'm so glad that yesterday I was able to, you know, like have that concert at night, which was so amazing. I danced for an hour straight, just like jumping up and down by myself. So much fun. <laughs> Okay, I've been here like five minutes and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm very very thrilled <laughs> the hike up to this hostel though oh my god what about you know the whole ordeal it's very hard but I've done so many hikes at this point I can do it this hostel is so nice so basically you go upstairs and there's a terrace which has a view of the water and other islands there's a pool there's a kitchen up there then you go up even further and there's a rooftop bar which i haven't been yet because it's not nighttime and so i figured like that was the main area that was the kitchen so she was like oh your rooms are downstairs so we go outside onto the street and just a couple feet down to a room and she opens it and it's an ensuite so it has a full kitchen over there eating space, two bathrooms, and then two rooms, or three, no, two rooms of beds. And I was like, what? Like, we got our own personal kitchen and bathrooms along with the bathrooms and kitchens that are upstairs. Like, that's crazy. So I'm actually just going to hang out here for an hour. I have never once so far on this trip hung out in the hostel just during the day, but I have gotten less sleep the past three nights than I am used to and I 
don't want to be in the sun right now. I'm just really, really tired. And I know that when I do go out, I'm just going to go swimming. So I have three or four days here, depending on what I decide. So it doesn't really matter if I spend an hour inside. I didn't get to finish the Hunger Games third movie last night. So I think I'm just going to do that now. And I'm honestly really looking forward to just lying down. Every time that I've come back to the hostel to lie down, I've just slept. So I've never actually had any time in a hostel, like during the day, uh, the last two nights I was watching the Hunger Games like for a bit at night, but yeah, I'm looking forward to just hanging out. I never let myself do that and I think that I am feeling very run down, so I'm like, I need to recharge. So this is the room, top bunk, I'm on the top bunk, and then in there is the kitchen area that I can show you later. Also when I got here, they handed me a bowl of iced cream and I was like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, I'm very happy here. <laughs> it's a few hours later. I finished my movie. I slept. I had lunch. I'm feeling recharged. And I was gonna go explore. I was like, oh, I don't need to swim today. And then I walked outside and I was like, um, I can't do anything but swim. It is so hot. So that's where I'm headed now. So, I had a really creepy thing happen to me. I was in the water on the beach I showed you. I was there for like 15 minutes, and this guy, at least twice my age, came in the water. He told me he couldn't swim and pretended to drown so that I would have to save him. And then he was like, you're my baby, I'm lonely. And then he was like saying he wanted to stay with me and saying that he wanted to see me again. And I was so uncomfortable. So I had to leave the beach and I went to another beach and then I was worried that he was gonna see me because I told him I was leaving to go to the grocery store. And I just, uh, but I did end up getting to a beach that was nice and I was able to sit and swim, but that was just like not a fun incident. I just don't understand. Like it doesn't, especially if you're like 40 years old and I'm 20, but even if you're 20, doesn't matter if you're a guy, doesn't matter if you're a girl, doesn't matter if you're non-binary, like, doesn't matter what your gender is, read some signs. Like, don't come on to me so strong if you're not positive that I'm into you. Because if I'm not into you, then that's fucking weird. I have made pasta with feta, fried onion, and I stir fried from onions and mushrooms. This is amazing. The cheese is way creamier than I expected and it turned into like a creamy mac and cheese mushroom sort of thing. Oh my god. So good. I didn't vlog last night. We went clubbing. We went skinny dipping. It was a wild night and today I'm renting boats with the people that I was with last night. So we have rented... Do you want to see it? Do you want to say your Hi. name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Sandrine and I'm from Canada. Yay! We have rented a boat and we are now at a little beach and it's literally paradise. It's absolutely amazing. Do you want to be in the vlog? Uh oh, oh it's, it's the vlog? The yeah. Hey yeah. vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne, Australia. Woo! And we are doing the bar crawl. I literally can't do anything because of flash. Yeah, oh my god. In Night two of going bar. out. Bar. Yes, very, very thrilled. Very we bonded excited. over various experiences. Oh, it yes. was very nice. Yes, various experiences. That's okay, for I, sure. I have to turn this off. I can't see. We'll see you light up. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> feeling pretty run down. I've been going out a lot the past few nights. Croatia is a very like party place so I've been doing that because I like to party but I'm really tired. I'm meeting Grace right now at the beach. I had a problem with my debit card but it's fine. Um, so yeah I'm gonna sit on the beach. I also got a cold sore yesterday which was a bummer uh, 
because those are just really annoying, but I think it's from the lack of sleep and all the heat, so I'm just being careful with my face and the sun. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a good chill beach day once again, because, I mean, yesterday we went to Boba for the most part. Uh, chill beach days are the vibe here. We are currently at a fortress. We want to see the sunset. Prison. That is a torture room. This is a cell. Oh my God! So look who found me in Havar. Randomly in Havar. I can't believe it. <laughs> From Split. She From grabbed Split. my arm and I thought I it was a bouncer it. and I was like, am I in trouble? <laughs> I can't believe it. Amazing. <laughs> it is after 2 a.m. and we are walking to the water so that we can go skinny dipping. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> oh, there's a car coming. Everyone watch out. We're leaving the water now and it was amazing and the stars are amazing and I can't believe that I've now two of my last three nights I've gone skinny dipping in Havar like there's so many times on this trip where I'm like I never thought I'd be doing that but this is absolutely one of them like I never would have thought that one day I would like meet amazing people and we would like go skinny dipping on an island and see the stars like at like 2 30 in the morning it's just amazing good morning it is the next morning I just checked out of the hostel but I'm just gonna like make some lunch to take out but I wanted to show you guys my sunglasses I don't know if I showed you that each rim of them broke, but last night one of the arms fell off, like, you know, to put it here. And I was like, okay, I need some sunglasses. So I went to a shop near the fortress, and I literally cannot believe what I found. I will show you. These are the same exact sunglasses, except they're better quality. Mine are really flimsy plastic, and these are actual plastic. And they were like $13. I am headed to the beach. I'm going back to the beach that I was at yesterday because in my opinion, it's the most beautiful beach on the island, even though you have to walk down like a steep, rocky path to get to it. And I still have like five and a half hours before I need to come back to shower because I take a ferry to Dubrovnik tonight. So I have like a really good amount of time to just relax and maybe take a nap and read and eat lunch and just like swim. And yeah, it's nice. I have a whole day here. Something really spooky. I've been sleeping for a few hours because I'm very tired. Also, my contacts are kind of like, Ugh. but I had a dream that I asked someone what time it was, and he said two o'clock. And then I woke up and checked my phone, and it's two o one. That's weird. This is the rooftop terrace. I don't think I ever showed you. I had a lovely last day in Havar. I am now headed to the ferry off to Dubrovnik. I am really sad to leave. I really love it here. I feel like when you travel, there's always those unexpected places that you love that you didn't expect. And for me, that's Havar. I'm trying to not to get run over. <laughs> I have made it to Dubrovnik. The ferry was three hours long. I was like, I'm not gonna sleep. And then I slept the entire time. So I've slept like five hours today, just during the day, because I was so tired because I had to check out this morning, but I'm on my way to the hostel and I can't really see anything because it's dark out, but it definitely looks more like a city. But uh, yeah, every time I arrive somewhere and I'm tired, I'm never like super stoked about it, but this isn't any exception. I don't know why I said, but I'm <laughs> just tired. But I have three days here and I'm really excited to see the old city. My hostel's like 40 minute walk from it, but like, 
whatever, I would walk however long it takes, like I don't care. I just went to the grocery store and I got some stuff and I met this girl named Jess and she's gonna come with me today to the Old Town. My hostel's in a really good location in terms of food and groceries, like the grocery store's right there and this is my hostel. Thoughts on the actual hostel? The kitchen is like non-existent basically, which is really annoying, but I still managed to make breakfast, but besides that it's fine. That was just like the only thing that kind of bothered me, but um, you know, it is what it is. It is expensive, but anywhere near the Old Town was more expensive, so I guess. This is the kitchen. Who I'm traveling with this time, we so will. We <laughs> you can say who you are and where you're from. Hello, I'm Jess from New Zealand. Yay, made a friend in Dubrovnik and we're headed to the old town and we're both very in awe of this place. It's amazing. Yeah, I like it way better than Split. Oh, do you? Yeah, like this is, it just feel like I, I just get a good feeling here. Oh, well, I've only got one day here and so long and split. Well, don't worry. I, like I said, I don't think I did split right, but just, yeah. you know, it's good that we're here at all. And Havar, of course, you're gonna love. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the water is so clear down there. Oh my God. It's unreal, isn't it? It's so unreal. And I've been in Croatia for a week. And my first day. Yeah. I just love these houses. I know. So we are just sat at these stairs having a little picnic with the lunch that we packed and Dubrovnik is amazing, That's like incredible. absolutely amazing. We we stopped like a hundred times the, the walk here and we were like, oh my god, like, it's so, so beautiful. And after lunch, we're getting ice cream and then we're going to explore and I cannot wait. Jess, she's laying down. We're here and uh, I'll show the water in a sec. Or I'll just show right now. We're at the water um, right next to the old town because it was really hot so we wanted to swim. But uh, we were just talking about uh, like traveling and career and I was just saying how, you know, now I'm a month into this trip and I've changed so much and I'm starting to be able to recognize those changes and something that I was just saying was um, in America your life is just your career and you're you're taught as a kid that you know you need to go to college because you need to get a good career and everything is revolved on your career and I think that career is really important and obviously like I'm in college and I'm super dedicated to it but traveling like this and seeing this world open up has showed me that there's just more to life and more to your goals than just career oriented um, and I was we were just talking and I was saying that you know I'm only 20 and I'm absolutely the luckiest person alive to get to do all this but I can't imagine this being my last time doing this like I can't accept that this is my only big solo trip and so I was just saying like I think for the first time in my entire life I have goals and dreams that don't have anything to do with my career and I need to remind myself you know when I actually get into the the grind of it all and when I get back to America and, and everything is you know career career I need to remind myself that um, I have other goals and like I am my own person and that life is short and you know I have so many dreams about career but I also have dreams that have nothing to do with that and I think that it's important to remind yourself like Jess was saying that um, she took off work to travel and she was feeling guilty about it and then she was like well no I, I shouldn't feel guilty which yeah you shouldn't because it's amazing yeah and I hope to do that too like I hope in my life you know I'll be working in television which isn't as steady as some things and so I hope if I ha have time off to just like take some months here and there and travel and um, yeah I just I don't know traveling has just opened my mind to so many things that I never really thought about before that's so good <laughs> yeah I love it. <laughs>
Jess and I have bitten the bullet. We bought our tickets for the wall. They were 200 kuna, which is so expensive, but we're excited. There's also a fort she's asking right now to see where it is because it gets you entry to both. Um, it's literally so expensive. 200 kuna, I think it's like $30 or something, but it's worth it, hopefully. I feel like I'm in um, Monaco. I feel like I'm... <laughs> words just are not so we're on the walls and I'm in this like little I don't know this little thing and it's just amazing <laughs> the view this is the view from the thing so that's the fort Defin definitely Game of Thrones this is all Game of Thrones like where it was filmed definitely in that fort I think Jess and I are playing, uh, what's it called? Monopoly Deal? Monopoly Deal, yeah. It's so fun. We're so exhausted from the day. <laughs> We're like in our pajamas. <laughs> like so tired. We walked over 10 miles and it was a fabulous day. But yeah, I really like this game. I want to buy this game. I think it's probably cheap. And you think? Little travel size. This looks like a suitcase. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun to bring to travel. So then like when you meet people or when you're with your friends, like yeah. you can just do that. That's such a good it's idea. Okay. I definitely like, should on, do that. And on, um, like trains and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, so since you're traveling with other people, it's probably more useful than me since I'm like by you myself to I have to like yeah. teach everyone but but yeah still I like it oh so cute good morning it is 10 o'clock I slept till 9 30 I woke up with just like a tiny bit of a cold I don't my voice doesn't actually sound like this just because I haven't spoken today um so I slept for another half hour and I took some cold medicine <coughs> I swear I'm not actually this sick it's just because I haven't spoken today but um I don't feel too bad I'm just gonna rally and take some cold medicine today and tomorrow and um just get rest and I think I'll be totally fine and so today I booked a sunset cave kayaking tour at 5 30 and so I have the day so I'm gonna go to the beach I need to get ready and get myself to the beach because the beach is about a half hour away and where the tour the kayaking tour meets is like 45 minutes away so I need to make sure that I have time to walk to both places so yeah I'm just gonna get some food or make some breakfast oatmeal and then make my lunch and then head out Water. Whew. It is so hot. It's like 85 degrees, but it feels way hotter than that. And I'm going to Amsterdam the day after tomorrow for Pride Week, and I just looked up how hot it is there because it's supposed to be cooler there. It's 89 today, but it's going to be a little bit cooler, I think, the week that I'm there, at least after the first few days. But oh boy, <laughs> there's no beaches there. I asked the reception at the hostel what the closest beach was and this is so nice. Like this whole strip here was just shops and uh, restaurants and there was some arcades and a playground and now I'm getting to the beach and there's all this greenery that overlooks it and it's just, wow, it's very, very beautiful. I left the beach, I had some ice cream, I went back to the hostel, and I'm now walking to Old Town to the kayaking. I brought this bag and then I clipped on my towel and, uh, and uh, flip-flops because I have no idea if you have anywhere to store your stuff and I didn't want to get my backpack all wet. I am wearing my sneakers because it's a, it's a walk, so I don't know if those will get wet. I also didn't bring a water bottle. It says that they provide you with a snack and a water bottle. I hope that's right. If not, I'll just buy one when I get there. But yeah. Also, the bay smells really, really, really bad here. Like, really bad. This is amazing. 
I'm walking home from kayaking. It was so amazing. I loved doing the sunset tour. It was so beautiful. I'm so tired. It was like two and a half hours and then I was in the old city which is like a 40 minute walk from my hostel so I wanted to walk around and look at things so I did but I'm just so tired. It's like 9.30 so I'm walking back. I'm gonna shower and go to sleep. I've had such a nice time. Good morning. Lunch. Pesto pasta, two nectarines, peanut chip thingy things. They were 30 cents. <laughs> Today I'm headed back to Old Town to climb the fort and just explore more and go swimming again. Let's go! So I found this path and I decided to follow it because no one else was there and those are the types of paths that are always like the coolest that no one knows about. And I have, so I was all the way up like there where the Old Town is and I've come to a path that takes you right to the water and this is just stunning. Let me show you. Look at this. Oh my god. There's a place to swim. There's only one person here. Like, it's amazing. Wow, that was literally perfect. I spent maybe three hours here, uh, mostly reading. I also swam for a while and I ate lunch and I just needed that. Like, I think I was feeling a little overwhelmed, a little sick. I feel fine now, but it's hot and I didn't want to be with a bunch of crowds. And, oh my God, the view! Just like... <laughs> and now I'm ready to eat ice cream and be in crowds and like walk through the old town, but I, yeah, that was perfect. So, funny story, I got some ice cream, I was super excited about it, and I tried it, and it was literally terrible, and I had half of it, and I threw it out, and I was like, screw that, life is short, and I got another one, and this one was great, and that's the story. Oh my god, it's dripping. Hazelnut. Just went swimming again, and now it is time to go to the fortress, which I'm so excited about. That was a lot of stairs, but I made it. Just journaling, taking it all in. I was texting my roommate for like an hour. We're still texting and I'm just feeling so happy and grateful and just like so many things. <laughs> I just bought some snacks for Amsterdam because everything is so cheap here. So I got a bag of pretzels, some crackers and Jaffa cakes because I have those in London and they were good. It is almost 7 in the morning. I am about to leave Croatia and get on a plane to Amsterdam. Ah! I have to take a bus to the airport. And in a few hours, I will be on a plane and I cannot believe it. Amsterdam, finally! For breakfast, I went to a bakery and I got two chocolate croissants, which was six kuna total, which is like 90 cents. So I'm hoping they're good, but I'm excited. Update, don't have a really croissant. So it's like a rolled bread. Looked like a croissant with chocolate in it, but either way, I'm happy. <laughs> I've had a truly amazing time in Croatia. I'm so glad I came, but Amsterdam is like the number one place on this trip that I was so excited for, and I cannot believe today I will be there. That's absolutely insane. So, yeah. <laughs>